This segment brought to you by Santa Fe Trail Meets in Overbrook. Let us help feed your family. Hi, I'm Frank Godekin. Um, just got done talking about backgrounding rations and what makes a good backgrounding ration versus a not so good backgrounding ration. You know, in feed yards all the time we talk, talk to managers that are frustrated that cattle come in, some are no problems, perform well, and the same cattle from a different, different backgrounder will have maybe up to 10% death loss, don't perform as well, and uh, definitely don't have as nice carcasses. So what are the key points to look at? Um, one, we've got to realize that we're taking young animals and developing the rumen and making those into ruminants, not necessarily just bringing them in, locking them up and feeding them. One of the other key points is not to have stress. You know, think about it if you will, running cattle through a chute with a hot shot is stressful. That may affect the effectiveness of the vaccine. Giving the cattle a better environment, a bedded pen, plenty of access to water or feed, all those things reduce stress because they miss mama, their digestive tract's not set up to handle this feed, and every bug known to man is going to attack them. So we have some issues to start with. You know, as we develop the rumen, we have to think about what diet we feed. And we try to feed a diet that's roughly 35 to 50 percent roughage. Energy levels, oh, around 50 to 54 NEG. This allows the animal to eat and not have a diet that's really high in roughage that he can't digest properly because his digestive tract's not developed yet. And in doing so, getting good nutrition into the animal, it allows the, him to recover from the stress of weaning, the stress of transport, and also may recover from nutrients that they're deficient in. So getting them to eat a balanced diet is very critical. Part of that is mineral nutrition. And some K-State data that we reviewed, over 60% of the forage samples from 18 states was deficient in zinc. So we need to make sure the zinc levels are adequate. Copper is another very important trace mineral. So with all that in mind, we can't get that all done with just wet distillers and hay. It doesn't work. You know, some of the real good feedstuffs that we have are the silage products, especially corn silage, and feeding those in a well-blended, mixed diet with the right nutrients gets us the best opportunity for those cattle to grow, do well, and not get sick.